Hey, welcome back to the channel. Doing the same thing as last time. If you haven't done so, slide on over, like, and subscribe. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, batteries are still dead. Imagine that. But I got pretty motivated after watching that or making that last video um, and some of the comments that I'm going to fix the battery box, put new batteries in, and we're going to actually figure out what's going on, why that won't charge. And as you see, it's packed full of stuff because there's no lid. So I got some ideas on that. I got some ideas on the actual alternator and why I got some crankcase pressure in the transmission. And then also it needs two brake cans in the back. So I actually stopped and got one this morning, but we'll get this thing started up and moved out front and I'll get working on it. We're supposed to get a bunch of snow, well, two to four inches, which is way too much snow than I want. So that will probably shut me down and um, I'll get back after it tomorrow. I took the day off to get some of my projects done. battery so pretty much the batteries are junk so somebody did drop a comment about somebody did drop a comment about oh uh, you gotta have your batteries charged or this and that or they'll they'll be junk they're already junk so this thing's got a 290 cummins in it um it starts really nice when you actually got voltage going to it in my opinion for cold weather started we'll let it air up so these are original or old school or you can still take them apart so i'm gonna put that as they're old so the truck's a 78 i think you can still take it yeah so i'm not sure and somebody somebody who knows that can drop a comment i'm not sure what year they stopped having serviceable brake cans and the reason behind stopped having serviceable brake cans is there's a spring in there that if you take apart and it is not properly uh, decompressed, it could explode, kill you, hurt you. So that's why they went to brake cans that look like this that aren't serviceable. See this top doesn't have a ring. We'll go back. See this top, you can take this off and potentially have it explode on you which could kill you so and this one's even i think this one's even older i'm not sure i'm not an expert on that but i changed the two fronts i had a spare um just in case since everything else everything has those brake cans on for the trucks um but i stopped and got another one today since i want this thing ready to go i don't want to have any more headaches i want this project awesome so checked off the list for spring. Um, so alternator charging, transmission crank uh, case pressure because it's coming out of the breather in the back um, and brakes. I think that's it for this truck. And then I'll be happy. I'll be really happy with it. So we'll get this disconnected and moved out front and get into that. What are you doing? Hey, come here. So, those of you who don't know about semis and air brakes, what those cans do that I was talking about is disengage or engage the brakes. So right now there's no air to them. So those 
cans are actually pushing it on the brakes to stop it. So that's what that spring does. The second I push that in, it releases the brakes and then we're good to go. So if there's a little leak in between it as far as releasing or if something's wrong internally, you can have brake issues. Um, I think I put new brakes on. I think the Mac has almost all new brakes, brake cans. All of my trucks when I bought them have had really good brake pads still on them. Like this thing, I don't know if they put brake pads on that not that long ago. It's got 240,000 original miles on it. When I got it, the oil was last changed in 98, I think. I think it just sat. Same with like the air filter. It was all like crystal. It was perfect, which was, it's odd, but it sat. But on the title, it came up from Tennessee. It went to Ohio and I think it sat at somebody's yard. So well, we'll uh, pull this out front, switch those two brake cans. What are you doing down there? We going out front? see where we get to before um, the snowstorm comes in. So I see it's coming across New York. It is January, end of January, and we really haven't had that bad of a winter. I just don't like winter at all. This is how a brake can come, so you cut it to the length you need. Always a good thing to get a new uh, clevis on with it. You got your mounting bolts, you got your two airlines. You might have to rotate this around. And then uh, you got your spring compressor bolt that you put in in case you need to dislodge the brakes for any reason. So that goes in the back and then it just pulls that spring so there's no tension on it. Got the airlines off, got the pin out of there. Um, had to take one airline off up top. But. All I got left is these two bolts that mount it on and then pop this pin out right there. This will come off, we'll put the new one on. But it is snowing like anything. It's literally been two minutes since I last talked to you guys and maybe, maybe five. We got snow in the driveway already so this is coming down pretty quick. We'll see how far I can get before uh, I lose motivation of being out in the snow. I could get this in the shop. It does fit in the shop. Problem is I got so much other stuff in my pickups in there, which all you people who have asked about it, I'm waiting on the motor at the motor shop. So then we'll start working on getting it back together. It's snowing like fast, but I got one ready to go. Just about, I gotta put the clevis. So I cut the extra off. Made it the same as that one. Gonna put the clevis on, use the sawzall. Not the best thing to cut them off with, but it definitely worked. I don't, my grinder must be in the barn because somebody stole it out of here, I guess. But, whew, probably just gonna be able to get one done before it snows me out here. Like, if you can't tell, it's, this is, this has all been within 15 minutes. I'm losing all my tools in the snow. They're over there cleaning heifer pens um yeah losing all my tools in the snow so gotta be careful it did slow down i'm not really sure if i want to keep going or not but i do have everything out i know what i'm doing right now i did end up adjusting right there is the adjuster for the slack adjuster so they're tight now um due to there's no pressure on them so it pushes them out you know what I'm gonna try to do the other side. Well, I'm not filming any of it because it, the snow's slowing me down. Uh, I'll get that side done and then I'll be good. So that's the plan. Making progress. We legit have over an inch of snow and it really hasn't been that long. Maybe an hour. So, got this one side done. Um, Everything except for one airline, I'm unhappy with how the end, it came apart hard, so. This side's done. So that's gonna sit there till the morning. I gotta go to air gas, cause they were closed today. And I wanted some plasma cutter tips. Um, and some welding tips, some spare wire in case it 
got an issue. But let's see, where is my line that I didn't like? It's over here. This place is back to being a mess. Never really was clean, but there we go. I'm unhappy with how that's offset. But we'll just get a new one at uh, GPM, the hydraulic place they carry them. There's the two old school cans. Probably should have changed those right when I got them. Slowly gaining, so. Somebody's asked uh, about me doing a video for stuff that I own on the farm. We could do that. Explain. I'll explain exactly what goes on and why I don't have all new stuff. And it takes me a while. I'm a one man band when it comes to a lot of my own stuff. Wrenching, pulling motors, doing transmissions, the pickup. I did get some help pulling that motor, which was good from some buddies, and I'll get some help probably putting it back in. Uh, I'm waiting, so I'm, yeah, I'm ready for that to be back together, but we're going to get like four inches of snow pretty quick at this rate, but I'm going to jet home. I'll see you guys in the morning. I got to get a haircut. I got to go to the hydraulic place to get that line, and then we're going to work on this truck some more, so took tomorrow off. So I could focus on that, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Yep. I'd say we got four inches of snow, but it's still snowing. Hope that stops working outside today. Ain't going to be fun. I'm off to get a haircut and I'll check back in with you guys. Fresh haircut. Yep. It was long overdue. Um, got that line from the hydraulic place stopped at air gas and got plasma cutter tips some wire um some stuff to do this battery box so nice yeah outdoor shop got snowy but i'll throw this line on and that will be done at least all the brakes will be good good to go had to jump start it so get that new line in Got to clean up my snowy mess so I can work outside here without being completely in the snow. So I'll back this up. Oh, that's good. The wipers do work. They didn't go all the way. So they don't want to go all the way back. Probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. For a 1978 truck, which that puts it at um, 20, 40, 43 year old truck. It's amazing that the wipers work and stuff. Pretty cool. So alternator here, which is new, was new when I got the truck. Uh, put it in about a year ago. So that was a little loose. I cleaned it up with some emery cloth on both connection ends. And then I'm testing the battery. So that's putting out like 14, 14, 2, 14, 14 something. So plenty of voltage. Come back here. 14, 6, I think it was putting out. This battery, 14, 6. This battery, 12, 7. Okay, and I know the batteries are kind of junk from sitting around and somebody said, oh, you should, don't let them be dead with the charge. But I come over here and don't mind like this wire goes to the oil, but I can see on this wire and I'll have to pull it out. There's a big chunk missing out of it and it's sitting on the, f an airline. So somebody ran that wire and it's rubbed through, um, which I'm amazed that it's not shorting out or anything, but that's probably my it's probably my biggest issue because that comes right up to the front. The alternator, it's all internal, I think, regulated because it comes across and it goes right to the starter here. And then those two lines go back to the battery. So that I think is my issue, along with two dead batteries. So we'll get I'll do two new cables. Um just to make sure on all that because they did tape some things and I want to clean it up 
but all that does is run right across the back side there and that's it so we'll probably make them longer run them up over the back and then down the frame rail but gotta get all this out oh, that is loose too which is loose because i took it apart last time i think but everything in this box is frozen so this might be not as easy as i think as i have said before best thing i bought last year as far as a tool plasma cutter so that's a hypermax 45 um does up to like a half inch the only downside is they're expensive but i swung through air gas picked up um the consumable pieces which is all the fronts i guess i'll pop that out of there why is it snowing again i also got 33 pounds of spool for the um welder what else i got some grinding discs another consumable piece that i tend to burn some new tips for the welder another square so that when i start working on that we'll be in a good boat this is challenging so they got two kits and i've had both of them this is the one pretty much what i tend to do is put the plasma cutter in places it shouldn't be and i burn that so that's why i got two of them um but that's all the tips the ends everything what i got on it right now is an extension tip because i ran out of the other ones which that tips smoked too i gotta get another one of those kits um basically looks the same just that allows you to get into uh, odd places and corners really nicely so if you don't have a plasma cutter and you do metal work and then fabrication and stuff get one i use it like a torch some days as far as cutting junk up but yeah we'll just get that switched and get going so all you do is pop that out there's your end pretty much all the ones i had left i had pretty much no consumables left of my old kit so put that together that goes down in there gotta remember which way this goes that goes up through there like that so these are expensive 100 117 or 174 for the kit it's expensive to do this stuff all part of it so there we go and what a plasma cutter does if you don't know that cuts through metal it uses air and heat air and electricity and it cuts through metal so needs somewhat clean air oh you need clean air we'll get this box cut up and try to get those batteries out cut this support bracket out local celebrity kevin showed up yeah he did upgrade to denali big time no high country high country, high country. Uh, yeah all of these batteries are frozen in there it did break that should have done this stuff when it wasn't 20 degrees out it's supposed to get to be five degrees this weekend or something so i'm excited but yeah plasma cut at the edge underneath there's big bracket arms that bolt over to here so i gotta clean it up and see what i want i did get enough metal we're gonna make this wider and put the batteries in the back and then have a toolbox section up front i'm not sure how i'm gonna do the lid i did get metal for a lid but we're gonna find out oh i might reuse that floor nothing better than a piece of plywood this is a little rough didn't have much life left to it so we'll finish cleaning this up we leave these bars on because those actually go all the way up didn't have to reinforce them but yeah not too bad nothing left but not too bad we missed a little bit in there yeah that was the floor and wall i don't like how 
they must have put these on after or something because that is rubbing against the air tank and they welded it to the frame so we're gonna have to cut that off and move it over <sighs> and then that will straighten some of that out because that one's crooked as can be I really didn't want to weld to the frame but I think I'm gonna have to move these over and put well they they've welded stuff to the frame I cut that off what are you doing bye we are all well got the junk out got the brackets off which is good so this bracket was tight as you see it was rubbing on that someday I would have had a headache there so gonna clean that up as you see they welded right onto there pretty rough welds we'll cut that off clean that up clean these other welds up make it nice um, and then figure out exactly I'm gonna use the same brackets probably so, uh, ended up moving everything cleaning everything up I did clean up some of the weld marks that were ugly so that's fixed I got these two brackets put back on so it's a little tricky because the frame's not straight nothing's really straight um, because it's sloped so I took some measurements like squared it up but I like it that it's off away from the air tanks now we're gonna have to get longer battery cables but that one that's worn needs to get changed anyway so I got it cleaned up what I'll do is let me see if I can get this with one hand uh, we'll set this right on there and that will be pretty good so I'll tack that on and then we'll build the box around it we'll see if we can clean up this back wall what I need to do there I left this one on here just for extra support I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do that on this side so I did did end up welding these right to the frame um because that other stuff was welded to it i didn't feel as bad my tank on that side i welded to it it's not a show truck okay people it's a working truck fuck yeah i did do all of this in quarter inch so this box is gonna be it's gonna be sturdy not end up like that stuff Got the floor there, got this situated, the walls. Gonna have to notch something, I think, here. I left that bracket so I could weld this to it just to reinforce. I have a feeling I'm gonna do the same thing on that side, probably plate it over down further. Then we got back wall, I got a middle divider, front wall, and then figure out what we're doing for the top. But that is, it's hanging over just enough to weld that front wall in nice. This might actually work. I'm kind of winging it as far as what I was planning on doing but I did end up buying a second I had this this is probably 12 years old I bought a second one uh it's just a magnet to make a 90 degree just to hold it knowing that was my plan but dang that looks good one day I'll be a good fabricator one day it's always nice fabricating new metal and not old metal to old metal or new metal to old metal yeah, old metal doesn't do well, especially on a dairy farm where stuff's rotted and tired. But. I made these middle pieces too wide, so I got to trim off. I never calculated that these were going to sit right on the edge. Not a big deal. Mark it, line it up, plasma cutter, zing, we're good. Warm. 
Yeah. It's always nice when you have them do it for you at the metal place. Oh, like a glove. Then we'll punch some holes through the bottom for the power lines going in. I figure I'm gonna put a safety power kill switch in here because everybody's telling me to. And it's good to be able to shut it off, so. That's why I got some extra room. This might actually come out nice. Might. Dang. This is looking good. Got a little bit of a gap there. We're gonna fill that in. We're just gonna make sure the other pieces line up well. It's a little more interesting welding it on the truck, not building a box and then mounting it. But I wanted to make sure everything worked the way I wanted it to. Plus it's easier by myself to put pieces together and weld them on than try to lift it all by myself at the end. It's looking good though. Got three walls up. That's always a good sign. Got our hole cut for our positive power going to the starter and then the power coming back from the starter from the alternator. It's all on the same line, but yeah, that'll sneak through there. We'll put some uh, rubber hosing around it or something so it doesn't rub. Now it's looking like something. Battery box side, tool side. Still got that one panel. Gotta weld that up. We'll put that other panel in the front. Then I gotta figure out, as you see that's bent out from years of them prior. I probably should have bent that straight before I got it in there. I don't know if we can clamp it and pull it back in. That's mostly gonna be the support, but this thing ain't gonna go anywhere. So way thicker way heavier duty than just that battery box and the reason why i'm doing this i couldn't find a toolbox that i really liked to fit in a spot and a battery box and i didn't find a good combo battery box toolbox so that's why i ended up building something i don't know hopefully it works out just need some storage so like right now it's cleaned out but I got belts behind here. I got some chalk blocks. I took all my tools out. I'll get a tool set to go in here. Wrench set to go in here. Um, maybe even some bat jumper cables, which I really hope I don't need once I get that other line figured out. But this is going to give me plenty of space. It's deeper, so I'm going to have plenty of coverage over the top. Now, things are... I'm digging this. Definitely digging it. Wicked pumped about this. So much better. Yeah. What kind of projects are you guys doing right now with welding? I gotta figure out a mask that lasts that stays up in the air. Every mask I've ever bought falls down after like a year. Like, even if you tighten everything right. There we go. Got ourselves a box there. Even started painting it. It's gonna look pretty good there. Finish up painting that. Um, actually, I should probably do the top, the lid first. I'll do the sides and stuff I'm not gonna touch. And then we gotta grab the last sheet, figure out exactly how I wanna mount it on here. Now that I think I painted this side and I'm gonna weld onto it. Not thinking, got ahead of myself. I got a little ahead of myself on painting things because we're going to have to figure out some things. So I had these hinges. They're actually for a trailer there. They weren't going to work. I do got straps. Uh, I don't know the official name, but battery box straps, I guess. So I got five of them, which I'm good because I need three on the trailer. So I ended up putting the plate on. I was like, oh, I'll just flip it up and put some hinges on the back and that didn't work as I thought because you got nothing to pivot on um, and then I thought maybe I'll put a hook and I said I don't really want to this thing's actually pretty heavy like I'm going to be able to stand on it and stuff so I had some hinges for some gates ended up putting them on the back here I gotta fix the welds once I get them out they're just tacked on and then I got those strip battery straps where I could weld a little lip on strap two 
mess up my beautiful paint. But let's give this a try and see if it actually works. Oh, that will be nice. Flips right up, leans against the exhaust. So I got a weld in here, which I should probably just weld right now. That's actually, that's nice. Gaining. I did actually end up buying a Milwaukee light. Well, my brother did. He got a damaged one, one of those tripod ones. The packaging was damaged. It's sitting at my house. It would really help for moments like this, especially to show you guys. So here we are. It's all finished up. What I ended up doing was those hinges back here. Needs a little more paint, I'd say. And uh, my strap down's up front here. So these strap right in there. I gotta remember to tighten those. But pull it right up. Rest up against the exhaust. Got the toolbox over there. Got the battery box over there. Gotta get some more cable or long get longer cables. Get a battery shut off as well. I uh, just got to weld a ground inside there. And then that's going to do it for at least that part of it. Still got a few little leaks, um, things that I want to check. Yeah, and just a little bit more brake adjustment, I think. And this thing's going to be mint. So, hope you guys have enjoyed me struggling along on this cold day. It's not so bad right now, but if you have done so and you haven't liked the video, go ahead and do that. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. It's free. Just make a Google account. I think it's, it has to be Google account. So, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing the rest of the week. I got to go to work. And I got a lot of stuff in behind, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, like I said. Really appreciate you guys watching along. Yeah, have a good one. See you on the next video.